Hi, hello, and welcome back everyone. Last episode, we wandered around the seafloor for roughly an hour. Uh, this episode, we finally managed to do what we set out last episode and actually head into the cave I wanted to head into. Um, this fool managed to somehow stand up after sitting down, and I actually did also swim all the way back to base, make two of these power cells just to replenish this guy so I can actually move again. Um, can you sit down again? Do you, do, what's your conditions for sitting down? Can I make the other one that I actually got stuck sit down? Okay, of course now you know how to use your knees. I'm slightly upset at this man, or I suppose not this man, you're actually the good one. You're using your knees, you understand the, you know, the benefits of <laughs> a position. Um, that fool over there, he, he does not understand. Um, this thing does have two power cells, which is kind of unusual, so I'm going to guess that, you know, Higher classes of vehicle probably use more and more power cells in order to charge them. Um, which does make sense, and we did unlock a power cell charger. And I do know I'd probably need a build. Actually, you know, I kinda... Okay, next episode, I'm going to build a new base. A massive base. It's, it's going to be fantastic. It's probably going to be a multi-hour long episode, because... You know, that's just kind of how it is. Anyhow, I can finally dive into this thing. Oh my god, okay. Last time I came here, we heard the roar of a murderous sea spirit. I don't actually know what it was. Uh, but I didn't descend far enough down to actually find out. Um, okay, let me take a look here. Is that some... That's not actually an acid mushroom, is it? What are these? No. Oh, your true... Wait, tree leech? Wasn't this on the... Like the calcified tree? The big mushroom tree? Okay, so if that is on the big mushroom tree, is this island like the remnants of a tree, or am I just overthinking it and are just using... You know, they may have been... Hmm. I think I've seen those around in other places, I just don't think I've like actively paid attention to them. Um, okay, how deep does this go? Can I have gone here previously before? I don't think I had the oxygen capacity. Um, Though I do keep on the same lung capacity, which would be a rather funny concept, rather than just, you know, actually getting scuba gear, and... No. Don't tell me. Don't tell me it was all for naught. No. No, I thought for certain there would be something in there. You're kidding me. Do you just lead to the outside? Okay, well, there's an enzyme fever. Oh my, okay, wait, no, no. We don't know for certain yet. We don't know for certain yet. It could be something, it could lead to something great. If it just leads to the outside of the island where I could have gotten in with my ship. I mean, I'm just devastated. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, well, yeah, it's looking like my entire efforts last episode were in completely futile. Um, in fact, more and more so. Well, what the hell was that roar when I heard when I first came in here? Or not first, but like when I dived in here. Uh, well, <laughs> I guess time to wander around the seafloor without aim. Oh, actually, that's not true. I think we actually have the materials to upgrade our diving capacity now for this thing, right? Uh, we did find a fair amount of rare materials during our, I suppose, aimless expedition last time. Um, nuclear reactor, where is it? <laughs> Can I find it? Um, also, we are kind of close to unlocking a new vehicle, unless there's another additional component I'm not seeing. Though, I don't know where to find these things. Uh, hey buddy. I think you're a bit outclassed here for once. Well, I mean, you're outclassed by me with a knife. Uh, me with a hydraulic arm is a... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that felt mean. That that just felt mean. There was no reason for me to do that. I could have just left him in peace. I don't even think he dealt damage to me, did he? Okay. Um, I mean, if we can get a new vehicle immediately, that would be cool. Uh, as much as this thing is sick and fantastic, I think it's more for, you know, mining resources rather than just general expedition. Um... Okay, let me take a look at that recipe, because I we did find some nickel and some other stuff, and I believe we actually needed that. Is that here? Bronze suit? No, that's not the one. That's Mark II. Here we go. Um, Where are you? 
Here you go. Uh, plasteel, nickel, and ruby. I can make this. In fact, I have a ton of nickel. Um, like an absolute ton, right? I found that one giant deposit thing. Okay, you know what? Let me go back to base, and then I think, actually... Well, we're gonna head off to that one place again. The actual cave I got lost in last time. Or not last time, but, uh... You know. The one with the alien research facility, uh, regarding the... You know, biology of fish. Uh, hey, Enzyme Peeper, I'm just gonna leave you be. I don't think eating you does... Oh, there's a warper here. Uh, I don't think eating you does anything for me in particular. Uh... How am I gonna... Oh, you know what? Ooh. Oh. Wait, there was a floating island here? No, there wasn't. No, well, I mean, I didn't go to steep, actually. I don't think I've seen this. Um... Huh. Oh, I mean, alright, I'll check it out. No reason not to. Wait a minute. Ooh, I don't like that. If I fall... Oh, I do hope I have enough jumping capacity. Um... Wait, is this the floating islands? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so the floating islands, they're actually near the mountain. Oh my god, hey buddy. Also, you guys are less pink. I wonder, hmm, is that a trick of the light? Or is there actual, like, coloration differences between some of those? Um, I think this is the one shipwreck we've checked out, right? Part of the... That contained the actual final component for this prawn suit? It looks familiar. Um, let me let me double check. No, that's an arm. Yeah, nope, I've seen this mining arm before. This is definitely... Okay, we've been here before. We just couldn't descend down... Oh, no, actually, we could have descended downwards. I guess I was just too coward uh, to do so. Uh, here Now, here's the question. How the hell do I get up? Because <laughs> um, if I remember right, there's quite a deep pit below us. And I don't think I can climb the walls of that pit if I fall down. Um, though I don't think I've seen this cave either. Though I don't... Let me... Okay. I have learned my lesson. You... Actually, I don't know how much damage you do if you... No, I don't want to jam this thing in there again. No. I'm, I would rather you break of being bitten than me fucking lose another ship the exact same way I lost my previous one. Oh my god, I love how purple this cave is. Um, huh. I mean, aside, are these new? No, Violet Bew. Uh, another one of these eggs. I think I have a bunch of them. Also, we did, I think I figured out last time that, you know, the shape of the egg kind of probably reflects what is inside. Because I have a rather large egg that seems to have the same little, what are these things called? Like antennas that the ampule has? So, I have a feeling that's an ampule egg. Uh... I don't know why I would want to hatch an ampule, unless they have some... I thought that was a giant fish. Uh, useful properties that I don't know about, excites for... Ooh, actually... Huh. Okay, this is a bit fucked up, but if I create an ampule, right? Um... Oh, don't tell me I fucked myself. <gasps> <laughs> Thank you. No. Okay, um... Can I stand on that tiny little rock? This limestone outcrop. I need you to bear my weight. Yes, I can. Thank you. Um, if I hatch an ampule and I hook it up to... Is there like an ampule generator? <laughs> can I hook it up to my base to provide power for either my base or my ship? Uh, Okay, that, this is sounding worse and worse the more I say. Uh, I'm very sorry, fish. I need you to support my weight. I don't know why I thought you would. Uh, oh, okay. You know what? That, I, that, I, I feel bad about that one. There was no reason. Okay, you know what? Oh, god damn it. Okay, go. Uh, I see a little ledge on that other side over there. I think I can make it. Uh, if I can't, well, you know what? I'll fucking I'll make another prawn suit. It's okay. We'll litter the skies, or I suppose the ocean floor, with these. Oh my god. Okay. Thankfully, it wasn't that long of a jump. I've severely overestimated the difficulty of this. Okay. Um, it might just I might just actually. So, we know that where actually is the alien. Not new habitat installations? Water filtration system. Um... Yeah, okay, I want this to be part of my new base that I eventually want to build. Uh... Probably next episode. Nuclear reactor. Renewable. 
Wait, renewable? Energy sources will usually be sufficient for us to maintain a small outcrop outpost. For everything else, there's nuclear power. Power up to four replaceable uranium. Okay, I got it. Basically, big, big reactor. Look, we're still using... Um, our, my entire base is powered by three solar panels, which probably isn't the greatest. <laughs> but they've been working. They've been working. I, have, I haven't had really... Except for that... They do occasionally shut down, but I haven't had really a need for greater power. Though then again, uh, it is slightly inconvenient when they shut off during the night and I can't use, you know, my little thing. Okay, you know, I might build a new reactor, but that's for next episode. Next episode. Okay, you know what? Um, hey buddy, don't do that. You are also more green. I The earlier ones I saw last episode were definitely more pink. Um... Well, I can't wait. Am I just going back? I'm just going back and forth. Okay, you know, I'm just going to cut this and when I'm back in my base, if I can figure out how. Or you might see another <laughs> lost prawn suit. Um, hopefully I don't lose too many of these things. They're quite expensive. Uh, I think I can probably just shimmy. Okay, you know what? Uh, I'm, I, I'm, why am I still commentating? I, I've cut, right? I don't have to do this to myself. I mean, I just kind of want to keep talking. Hello, welcome back. I have finished gathering up some materials. I've also managed to return out of that horrendous hole. It actually took me a little while. Um, I've made a power cell charger to par charge up my empty power cells because I ha I'm going to bring these along because I have a feeling we're going to need these upgrades. Uh, or not upgrades, but backup reserves. Um, I have two upgrades ready to for use. That would be the jump jet, which I don't... We already seem to have one. Uh, propel the prawn suit into the air. So this might be for use on land. And we also have the ability to get... Uh, where was it? It was just a diving upgrade, right? Uh, this one. Uh, nickel, ruby. Okay, I have more rubies. I also have more nickel. Wait, did I put away my ruby and nickel? I thought they didn't share components. Okay, I have no idea what happened there, but <laughs> not a big deal. I have plenty more nickel, and I think I still have a ruby or two. Uh, yes, thank god. Okay, <laughs> no no more additional cuts. I also discovered you can do this just by dragging it, because, oh man, look how fantastic that is. I really like that pin system. Um, That pin system is fantastic, and I can also just get rid of these while I'm at it. Anyhow, I am now ready to finally... <laughs> Descend into the first thing we were told about. Uh, where was it? Because this is one of the first pieces of information we've got, right? This alien data? Uh, where was it? Clues... Where did we get this from? Alien? I think we actually got this from the enforcement platform and there was like a data terminal inside. Right? Man, I could be mistaking that. Oh, yep! Oh, I tried to jump to the other side. Uh, I got clipped. Okay, let me see. Let me swap out this, and I can get rid of a storage upgrade, because they don't really seem to do too much. Crush depth now 1,300 meters. Holy fuck. Okay. That's actually kind of insane, because... Wait, is there a... No, it would be in the modification station, right? Let's see. There should be a two over... Oh. Hello? There you go. Um, Cyclops depth module. I don't know how to make that. I need... Uh, kyanite. Is that a real material? I think that's real. Kyanite? Psych? Hmm. That sounds familiar. I don't know why. Okay, I have no idea where to get that, though. <laughs> um, enhances diving depth to maximum. Oh! Okay, wait a minute. Uh, well, tell me if it's the maximum upgrade. Okay, that's actually quite useful to know. So there's only two upgrades for this. Um, so if the... What was it? The Seamoth, it went 100, 200, and then 400 uh, in addition, right? So it would be, if that's 1,400, it would be... Would that be 2,000 something? 2,000 something? That's kind of nutty. Um, anyhow, I'm ready to start heading out. 
Where was the direction of that actual thing? It, it tells me where it is. Cave system with extensive fossil record, southwest of enforcement platform, meaning the laser. I have to go back to the fucking laser, don't I? <laughs> okay, well, hopefully I can find it this time. Uh, because if not, I'm just gonna be sad. <laughs> If I spend another episode just wandering around. Okay, so southwest of enforcement platform, and then... Uh, can I repair you in here? I cannot. Uh, actually, let me... <laughs> I should have probably done this before I started, but, you know, uh... I should have refreshed all my tools' batteries that I could have. Uh, I did use some of my current battery supply to actually, you know, make the... You know, battery upgrades, but let's see. Okay. The... Thing, the mountain thing should be that way-ish, because that's where the floating islands are. Okay, southwest, go north. How the hell did I think it was, where, where did I think it was originally? Northeast? What did, what did I even see over there? How did I think it was northeast? It's just directly north of us. Am I... What? Oh my god, I was looking at... The, wait, is that a different island? Because I see another, like, cloud shape over there, like, over... I wish I could stay above water for more than five seconds. Mm. Okay, there might be another island, that, or that could be the floating island. Um, I thought the floating island was over there, right? Yeah, that's the float. Okay, so there might be a third island, in fact. Okay, uh, I might actually check that out later, but for now, go to the, <laughs> go back to the island, uh, using this damn thing. Ooh, I also did want to make the grappling upgrade, but uh, I needed benzene and. Uh, I think I need to do that. I needed to actually get some blood vine. Uh, and I'm kind of out of that stuff. Or blood something. Blood. Blood. Blood oil. Blood oil. I need three blood oil. Uh, and that's. That's kind of at the location we want to go to. Okay, go directly north. Do not stray. Okay, slightly northeast, but do not stray from this line. Because if I do, and if I fucking end up going on a. A thousand league journey again, wasting all my battery. I, I I just refuse to forgive myself if that's the case. Uh, I mean, we could also try to predict. Oh my God! Never mind. Oh, this jump jet upgrade is way more. Okay, this actually does work underwater. This is so much better. Holy fuck! I thought this would only work above air. Wait, let me read its description. Um, nope. Oh, one second. Uh. You're not gonna take a bite out of me, right? I mean, I'm wearing an upgraded suit, so it should be fine. Um, propel into air. It does show bubbles, so I guess it's supposed to represent a can work underwater. I mean, fantastic. I, I'll, I'll, I won't complain. Being able to, what is this, triple? Double my jump depth? This is more than triple, right? This feels like a lot more. Uh, this, this feels nice. This feels like how it's supposed to. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have dunked on this thing so hard last episode. It was probably just use your air, right? Um, can I just fly? Wait, can I fly now? Please. Oh, somewhat. Not, not a lot, but I was running out of power there, so I might be able to actually hop around. Though there isn't much above air, to be honest, right? Uh, I think we've explored the majority of it, unless there's gonna be a flying ship which I have to jump into. Also, it's you. Uh, bap! <laughs> <laughs> Get punched. You absolutely deserve that. Fuck you and your entire species of teleporting nonsense aliens. Okay. So you said southwest of import. Oh. Okay, never mind. That's not. It doesn't work. Why would you say into the air? This is much less effective in the air. I mean, I could. I guess it's still a little hot, but. That doesn't feel quite right. Um, okay. I like how you get down. Okay, maybe the reason why you get down on your knees uh, on the island is because you want to actually, like, lower your approach so I can get in. Um, okay, so it is... Where is it? Southwest. South... Wait. How, how far is it southwest of? Oh. Oh, wait a minute. That's the floating islands, right? Wait, is the thing at the bottom of the floating islands? Wait, am I going into the same cave I was in before? I don't think I am, then. Is there a cave at the bottom of the floating islands? I mean, I don't feel as bad as jumping into the bottom of- Oh, is there fall damage? I mean, probably not. It's a giant mech. Okay, thank god. Um, 
No, what was I thinking? Uh, there, there was quite a deep pit below this thing, but I don't think nearly as bad as going into it with this upgrade. Um, okay, I kind of immediately regret this, but... Um, I remember it wasn't this deep. Okay, thank God. <laughs> okay. I, I was worried for a sec. I was worried for a sec. Oh, is this the cave system? I see caves. No, this was the lava vents, right? I remember there being lava vents. Um. Oh, hey, bud. Okay. Oh my god, there's a lot of you. Oh my god, what the hell is happening? Why are there so many of you? Oh, god. oh my god, okay. I. I feel like I'm being swarmed. Um. What, what was that? Did you just lose a chunk of your flesh? Uh, okay, I need to leave this place because I don't think you'll leave me alone, but I also want- Why are there so many char- Okay, maybe you guys are attracted to heat. Um, go southwest. That is a stasis rifle. There is a ridiculous amount of you here. Uh, that is a propulsion cannon. Um, but you're not going to tell me I have to go up now, are you? That would be super mean of you. Uh, silver. Oh, I do- I am actually running out of silver, and I don't think I remember- where the hell did I originally get silver from? Don't answer that, that is a rhetorical question. Actually, I can probably just use the scanner thing. Uh, actually, you know, I think I remember. It may have been in the kelp forest area, right? Okay, let me take a little bit of this. Uh, my crawbicide. Yeah, 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 it's a slight disinfectant or something. Uh, is it really...? We just came from there. Okay, let me look around here, because there might be... Is this more silver? I do wonder if different biomes, or like different areas, they probably contain different levels of resources, or different sets of, uh, what was it, like, big resources. I remember the Big Puffball area. I, how did I forget its name already? Blue Puff, big Blue Puffing, they contained, is that it? That seems to be, no? Oh. <laughs> oh. That's just you guys, oh my god. Oh, you guys seem to have different markings, too, occasionally. Um... Okay, maybe I shouldn't have jumped into this pit, because that doesn't have seemed to help me. Uh... Okay, well, let's just go southwest, then. Or, not... Wait. This way? I guess this is where I jumped from. Um, hopefully I didn't... Oh, God, if I misdirected myself too much there, I'm gonna never forgive myself. Um... We're kinda already 500 meters deep. <laughs> which is concerning. Uh, also, it is quite hot, 54 degrees Celsius, but we should be fine, at least for now. Uh, air isn't a great thermal conductor, so we should have a little bit of a pocket of time. Um, oh no, don't tell me you actually want me to go up, do you? Okay, so maybe I should have gone over to Floating Islands, though I think- Oh my god, this jet is so good! <laughs> This would have made my life so much easier, um, if I can find a single edge to jump up onto, and by single edge I mean this tiny little outcrop. Okay, thank you, little limestone containing a single piece of copper or titanium, uh, I think those are the only two things you contain. Uh, where the hell- is that- wait, don't tell me that's the thing I launched out of there, right? And then it's- he's been falling this whole time and he just loaded in? Oh, it's this material. Is this... gold? Yeah, that's gold. Uh, I have actually too much gold. Uh, uh, hi, welcome back. I got interrupted by a phone call. Uh, I was talking about my rather large amount of gold and the fact that I need to climb out of this pit if I can. Um, one of those is answered and one of them wasn't really a problem. How far do I have to go southwest of? Uh, was it, is it just gonna lead me into the cave system I was in previously? Because if so, I kinda knew, know where that thing was in general. Maybe I should've just gone there instead, right? Just gone straight to what I think it is, then rather than where I think it wasn't. Um... Have I been here? I don't rec recognize this wreck, though. All these wrecks seem to be, uh... Rather- No, I haven't. All these wrecks seem to be rather similar in nature most of the time. Uh, big white, uh, with lots of bare metal. You know, that kind of thing. It kind of just blurs together. It would be nice if- Oh, you know what I should have done? This whole time I probably- 
No, I've been in here. I just... Wait. What? No, this is the room with nothing in it. Right? <laughs> wait, no. Yeah, wait, no, wait. I, I'm confused. Uh, modification. I guess I have it. Why is this door cut? No, I have to have been in here, right? Have do these doors shut automatically after a set period of time? That doesn't really make too much sense. Um. Okay, I've been in here. <laughs> okay, I think those doors just close, or I just missed those doors. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about that too much, since the level of technology in this area is probably similar to, you know, the one I'm directly in, that like where my base is currently located. I do also want to try to find a fantastic base location because I'm not exactly certain where I want to put my uh, future base. Uh, what is this? Is this a Seamoth? No, it's a Cyclops hole frag. Oh! Oh, actually, is there more in this area? Because, I mean, if that is... No, that's a bridge fragment. If I can get a Cyclops hole fragment, I might actually change my plans. Uh... I know, I'm very indecisive right now, but I do like getting new toys and gadgets. Uh, if, okay, well that is if, okay, so maybe I should just look around this area then. Because they might be area contained. Uh, though this place would be cool for a new base, though it would be rather difficult to maneuver through. I do like all the, like, bioluminescence. Um, the blue puffball area also doesn't seem too bad. Except for all the electric eels, and I don't know if they're gonna attack my base, because I do like the aesthetics. Okay, my criteria for a base location is probably aesthetics overall, and then like safety and comfort next. Uh, convenience, I don't care about too much. I'm willing to, you know, go out my way to have a pretty base. I'm kind of that, I'm kind of a, you know, form over function type of man. Uh, that is lithium. I am out of lithium. This is a Seamoth fragment, right? No. Oh, uh, can I make the thing now? I can? So, okay, Cyclops. Cyclops whole bullet blueprint. How do I make this thing? I can make this. Vast industrial use submarine. God damn it. I don't even know how long this episode- Okay, you know what? I'm going back to base. I'm making this thing. Uh, <laughs> is it really that easy? It seems that easy. I mean, why not? I did just upgrade- Okay, no, no. I, uh, I just upgraded my ship. I'm going to use it for its intended purpose. Uh, I, I want to at least use this thing once before I perhaps end up replacing it. Because if that thing is just a bigger, better submarine, uh, I would prefer that- uh, is this new too? Or is this a... Oh, I guess they're a bunch... Okay, so... They seem like the... They seem to be contained in the area. I wonder if there's like a, uh... Maybe... Hmm. So, assuming the roar crash, I'm guessing like a Cyclops slipped out of the hole and then like fell here and then broke apart? Is that what's happening? Is that the lore? Though, the bridge... Oh, it's this tree. Ah, uh, I remember you. you. I used you for a thumbnail. You weren't very good thumbnail material, I'll be honest. <laughs> I like that one, though. Uh, man, this place is really pretty. I want... Mm. Okay, I need a... Mm, 13. This is the one with that one guy who freaked the fuck out while he was dying. He was praying to some cosmic religious deity. Uh, and I seem to recall it being kind of fourth wall breaking in some form. Uh... I feel like I'm going too far southwest and I'm not going to be able to find this thing, right? It has to be the- no, okay, you, I should have just gone where I thought it was. I don't like going into this big open area. I feel like there's going to be a big predator in here, right? No way there's not. You don't just have big sparse open waters with nothing in it. Um, that's typically not a thing that happens. Uh, I mean, you know what, whatever, I'm feeling particularly brave at the moment, though I feel as I shouldn't. Uh, is this familiar? God, it's kind of weird seeing things from this perspective. This is a thermal plant. Oh, that is also a good point. If I can have, because I'm not particularly big on, you know, feeding and like gathering materials to power bases in games. I'd rather just like setting up a, you know, clean infinite energy most of the time and spending a bit of time on that. So maybe if there's like a... How do those work? I assume they just take, like, go over a bit of lava or something? 
This is definitely new. I do not recognize this like sandy slope looking thing. Um, hello? Anything here? I am still going southwest, right? Though I think my path has deviated quite a bit. Uh, that's a membrane tree. Oh wait, no. That's a membrane tree, right? So we're just going into the area I thought we had. Okay. I could have just gone directly here. I didn't have to go on this journey. Though I did find the Cyclops all because of it, so... <gasps> oh fuck, it's just you guys. You scared the fuck out of me. Oh my god. I thought I saw a giant centipede looking thing. Okay, you guys are friendly, right? Though I am on the ground now. You may not take to me so kindly. Did I, I... I read about you, right? You guys have... You're technically bipedal and this is your nose. Um... I don't think I actually finished reading you about about you. I think I got interrupted by... What am I, what am I stuck on? Something? I don't remember. Uh, you are a fauna, you are a leviathan, right? Sea treader leviathan. Um... Use to siphon a plant material from seafloor and maintain balance. Uh, large herds would decimate the floor of a single area, thus encouraging the sea treader's migratory behavior. Families keep their young towards the center of the herd, and parents will lash out at over-curious interlopers in search of an easy meal. Got it. Don't go next to your young. Um, I don't see your young. Are you the young? I hope you're not the young, and I'm, I hope I'm not interrupting you. Um, hey buddy, I see you up there. I see your tiny faint-ass shadow. Though honestly, I'm less scared of you now, but I feel like that just may be hubris coming into play again. Uh, is that an egg? What is this? No, this is alien feces. Fucking, uh, sure, whatever. <laughs> Why not? It may come in useful. Uh, I don't think I know use for it yet. Um... Yeah, okay, here we go. This is it, right? This leads to where I want it to go? Or... This is not gonna- wait, it's not the same. yeah, this is the right place. I remember going down, there should be a canyon here, and then, in the canyon, is, well, hell, but, you know, I don't have much of a choice. Um, I'm- I do hope I have estimated the right place, and I'm not just about to, you know, reach hole breaking depths immediately, uh, because, as funny as that would be, I would admit, uh, I'm rather keen on keeping this thing in tip-top shape. <laughs> Uh, I've lost this thing, well, once, but <laughs> it was a rather immediate thing, so I would keep it, I hope to keep it around slightly longer. Oh, a nuclear reactor fragment. Hmm. Well, I can make one of these now, but <laughs> I'm, I'm tempted to play around with the geothermal energy, cause I would have to go next to, like, something hot, right? Like lava? Uh... I'm just, honestly, I'm prattling on now, uh, cause I'm kinda nervous about that thing, right? The big hammerhead shark thing? I know it's in this area somewhere. Uh, not you, I'm not too concerned. Oh, actually, you are more of a problem, though. I can't go over you as easy as I can in my moth, right? So, as long as I... How much, does my jet, jump jet actually use additional power, or I really hope not? Uh, um, yep, here it is. Okay. Let me... I wish I had my Seamoth ping thing. I see you. Um... God, okay, that I um, that's such a big fucking ribcage. I mean, the game said the sea doesn't like support this type of life form anymore, right? Okay, 800 meters. It has to be somewhere around here. Just 40 meters more downwards? Or is that just an approximate estimation of depth, right? Uh, what, did it say anything about approximate estimation? I, you know, I don't think now's the time to read a book. I'll be honest. Uh, where are you? Uh, honestly, if I stay in the water, it might be less likely to spot me. No, I think... Do I have the... Oh! Ooh, what are these? Okay, I was gonna say, I hope these aren't its eggs and I'm about to steal its children. I feel like it would get incredibly pissed off if that's the case. Um, I probably need more of this stuff. It seems to be quite rare. Uh, okay, what are these? Can I scan them? I mean, I can't actually, because if I get out right now, I, uh, 
expose myself to Aeronite? I, uh, okay, I'll drill it. No, I don't want to drill in case that makes too much noise. Okay, um... Let's see. What are these things? I want to scan them. What is that? Wait a minute. Is that Mesmer? The fuck are you doing down here? That's like the thing that hypnotizes you, right? How are you here? Wait, why are you even drowning in here? Uh, okay, I don't think that big thing can get into... I thought that was it. This pit thing. Um, I'm gonna take some time to read this. Okay, uh... Is it approximate death? And no, it's 800. You're being specific. Uh, though you are just saying give me a flat amount, so you could just be trying to... You know... You're not giving me a point zero, so I don't think you're being too specific. Uh, is it just gonna be where you are? It has to. Mm. I don't. I don't think I want to. Did you kill this thing? No. This would. This here. This had to be here ages ago. Uh. I don't think you could have taken down this type of thing on your own, unless you are much more powerful than your size suggests. Where is it? Uh, more bones this way, and this seems to actually go downwards and away from that thing at the same time. So I'm just gonna head this way. Um, Skullface, I forgot your real name. Uh, actually, it's River Prowler, River Prowler, isn't it? Uh, you're not too spooky. Thankfully, you don't seem to have any special abilities aside from being a skeleton. You're gonna leave me alone? I mean, I thought that thing would come after me for sure. I mean, I am invading its. You know, the depths of its territory. Uh, hey, buddy. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just sneaking past you. I'm at 54% battery. That's another big cave. Uh-huh. Perfect. I think this is where... Wait, is this where I chickened out previously? No, I didn't even go to sleep. No, this is where I chickened out previously. I remember seeing that thing. Um, I thought that was the fucking... I want to scan that big bone thing. Actually, could I, did I try to scan the big skeleton rib cage? I don't remember if I did. I wish I could have a scanner arm instead of... I would take a scanner arm over a punching arm. Um, Honestly, over this drill arm. What are you? Am I safe for a bit? It looks like I am. Leviathan skeleton remains. I'm going to go inside you. Uh, okay, here we go. Sea Dragon Skeleton. Oh. Sea Dragon. Hmm. Now, you seem to be a more reasonable size. Yeah, I remember seeing that thing and it spooked me. How did I miss this big giant pillar thing? I guess I just got tunnel vision and scared of something. Um. Okay. Let me... Where... Okay. God, this place is so big. Is this running underneath the whole map? Hey, buddy, you're just a... That is... This is a lot larger than I thought it would be. Okay, so... When they mean alien facility, they don't mean, like, that tiny little hole I was in previously. They mean, like, the size of the enforcement platform. Also, I feel like they're... This alien structure appears to have collapsed to the sea floor. Wait. Does that imply there's a hole upwards? Is that that bottomless pit I saw upward? Like previously? No, I, even at 600 meters. Can I scan this thing? Detecting an alien broadcast. Linguistic analysis reads. Caution. Hazardous materials and life forms contained within. I appreciate you doing my job for me, computer. Uh, though I think this is the alien disease research facility and that's exactly what I have. So, you know, that... I'm, I'm not too concerned about it. <laughs> Unless you have some other forms of disease, which I would rather avoid getting for now. Um, that would not be helpful. Okay, so you collapsed the bottom, so I assume there's a hole on the way up. No, maybe you were on the roof and then you fell down. Uh, I have some fluid. Oh, did you... <laughs> did you crush someone on your way down? I see some bones. Was there like a little thing under you and then they just get stomped flat? Um, I should have brought more water. I also should have brought more food. Though, I kind of forgot to resupply for that. Um, 
Where is the entrance to this thing? I feel like this is a giant, like, big cube thing, like a Borg cube that moves on legs, right? There's no reason for it to have legs otherwise? Unless these are like... No, those are like claps. They have to be legs. Um... I mean, this place seems relatively safe. I don't see any big sea creatures in particular, besides from... What is it? The warpers. And I guess they're a problem. Though I don't think they can hurt my ship. No, no, they can actually. They can punch. Um... And you, do you attack? Yeah, you do. Okay, well, fair enough. Um... Oh, here we go. Big hole. How did I miss this? God, this thing's cool. Okay. Can we finally learn something about these aliens? Uh... Okay, you definitely need this thing to go... No. Interior walls in this no. section are substantially reinforced. No. Indicating the design. I forgot to bring either to keep something out or contain it within. Whatever their intention, it clearly failed. I forgot to bring No. <laughs> no, please tell me there's one around here. I forgot to bring it. I took it out of my ship. Oh god, don't tell me I have to go all the way back. Oh my god, okay. Please tell me there's one in here. Please tell me there's one in here. If I have to run all the way back to my base. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's a big egg. Oh my god, this is, wait. Oh, ray specimens. I don't think I've seen this one, but like, it's... You guys ever... That feels like a big insect type of collection. Uh, okay, why can't I scan this egg? Here we go. Sea dragon egg. Uh, okay, sea dragon. Please tell me. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's kind of like the weird bug collector thing where they, like, shoot, like, pin them down into the wall. Uh, that always made me a bit uncomfortable. Uh, I really do hope there's a tablet in here. Uh, I mean, I kind of deserve being locked out of the facility due to my own incompetence, but, uh... I mean, at least I get more green cubes. I don't know what these things do, but probably something. Oh, that's a weird-looking head. Okay, let's see. Damage report. Integrating new PDA data. Okay, can I read about this? Uh, I can actually probably just journey through this facility on my ship, though this is a rather... I'm not risking this. I'm risking it. No, okay, I'm not risking that. Feels too narrow. That feels too... if I lose another one of these ships, the same mistake. Uh, okay, alien data, damage report. Leviathan detected a facility perimeter closing at high speed. Exterior anchor cable impacted with massive force. Exterior anchor system buckling. Facility sinking. Collision with C4. Breaches detected in containment unit seven. Leviathan eggs. I think that's the thing we saw. Uh, immediate specimen destruction protocol initiated. Oh. 314 specimens destroyed. One specimen unaccounted for. Evacuating staff to off-site sanctuaries. Planetary quarantine protocol initiated. Warning, infected individuals may not leave the planet. Okay, so what happened was... They were studying the disease here, right? And then a big thing knocked into the facility. Maybe it was attached to the roof of this place, and then... Probably that blue thing we saw outside, or maybe even the older one, like the big giant skeleton that was uh, the ribcage. Uh, knocked it down, right? Damaging it. So therefore, they purged their specimens, except one escaped, which probably is how the disease spread. Uh, and then they began initiating lockdown procedures, which I'm guessing is the big laser thing. And then I'm guessing this is one of your specimens. Is this? Oh, this is open. You're kind of like a giant... I don't know, you seem... I don't think I've seen anything like you. You seem to have an exoskeleton. Uh, remains of research specimen. Okay, yeah, you've confirmed that for me. Um, I can take some time to read you. I think it feels safe in here. Where is it? Oh, deceased. Uh, okay, remains of research specimen. The skeleton remains of a vast predator. Oh, you don't... You, you kind of look dopey. I, I don't really see you as a predator. <laughs> you look too goofy to be a predator, but you know. Uh, spooky music. Let me get inside my ship. Oh, never mind. You canceled out your spooky. Okay, you know what? Let me. Can I disable my hubris thing? Uh, let me turn off that reminder of my own mortality, which will definitely affect me in the future. But for now, it's kind of taking up some space on my screen. Um. 
The environment constructed to house the specimen suggests it was kept alive in containment for research purposes for months or even years. Organic matter indicates the habitat once supported extensive plant life, though it has since been so, well, has since decayed. When the facility collapsed, the specimen was either left to die or killed on the spot. If it was killed on the spot, right? Um, well, it shares skeletal, some skeletal traits with the biter and sand shark, including its own distinctive double eye sockets. This fossilized specimen is significantly larger and features unusual forearms rarely seen in aquatic species. This species has likely gone extinct in the past thousand years, and its evolutionary relatives have evolved beyond recognition. Okay, so yeah. Uh, sea dragon skeleton. I was outside. The semi-intact skeletal structure of a leviathan clasp. Oh, this may be the thing that knocked into it. Uh, head trauma. There's clear evidence of massive... In fact, here we go. There's clear evidence of massical, massive physical trauma to the head. The damage is so severe that it was likely to cause a death and must have occurred somewhere nearby. So you basically bonked your head into the giant metal structure, you fractured your skull, and then you died. Uh, damage is consistent w with a high-speed collision for solid object. Yeah, I should probably just continue reading and then stop speculating in the middle of a sentence. I know I do that a lot. Um... Something in the environment has helped preserve these remains, but calcium decay suggests an approximate time of death of a thousand years ago. Okay, so, a thousand years ago, you, okay, maybe the aliens were here a thousand years ago, and then they, so roughly a thousand years ago, that's when the aliens were here. Uh, bone growth suggests this creature was in the egg-laying stage of its life cycle. Okay, so it was an adult, right? That's what you're suggesting? Okay, well, I mean, I guess that's probably extinct for now. Though that didn't actually say that, but, you know, uh, most things have that size, so it's just that. Residual biological evidence suggests indigenous life forms Ugh. were brought to this location and subjected to intensive study. Biological matter? What the hell is this? It's a ribcage with some purple glow. Warp reports? The organic parts on display contain DNA from dozens of different organisms largely originating off-world. They're in varying states of augmentation with advanced technologies. This production line setup suggests these self-warping constructs were built, maintained, and deployed by the aliens that designed this facility. Warpers are robots. Oh. Oh, okay, that makes sense. That explains why they're... Well, they look different and why they come from off-world, right? Or why their DNA originated off-world. Um, I'll save that to be perfectly efficient. Are these... So they were constructing these, I'm guessing these are it's like hunters? Is that the thing that we're catching communications of? The pro, uh, ones patrolling? Can I scan you? Warper. Okay, here we go. Wait, no, then I already... What am I gonna get from you? Um, self-warping quarantine enforcer unit. Uh, this lifeform shows signs of heavy genetic modification and extensive mechanical grafting. Its digestive and pulmonary systems have been replaced by onboard batteries receiving energy directly from the main grid and distributing it around the body. Miniaturized phase technology has been implemented beneath the skin and is triggered by the chemical by the central nervous system, allowing the construct to teleport at will. 30 seconds. Uh, its brain and... <laughs> yeah, let me not drown down here. I, would ra I don't think I have a way back here. Uh, if I spawn back at the life pod, um, the brain and central nervous system have been digitally augmented with advanced processing power and remote communication. Programmable hunter and killer avoid. So that then I guess we are picking up on its signals, right? That has to be the thing, the metallic thing we're hearing over, and that's why you're patrolling. You seem to be around areas. You know what? You do. You mm, maybe you are the ones who actually wiped out the Degasi. <laughs> Wait, no. Okay, so if the Degasi were wiped out in their habitat, right, after bringing... Did they bring in one the Warpers, or did they bring in the... ...to the bacterium is being downloaded. Caution. Detecting atypical fluctuations in blood plasma proteins. A self-scan is strongly advised. Uh, sure. Self-scan complete. Bacterial infection has spread to the skin and pulmonary system. Medical report recorded to date to bank. It is imperative you find a way to neutralize the infection. I mean, I'm already on the. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh, don't. Ah. Uh, no, I'm green and gooey like the rest of them now. 
Well, that's probably not good. And that causes genetic mutation. Hopefully I don't end up into an alien. Um... So, okay, fine. Hmm. Let me read about this. <laughs> Uh, ra oh, ray specimens on 4546 or 6B, different but species of ray indigenous to 4546B, uh, each adapted to different environments. The specimens are 99 genetically percent identical to those encountered on planet I today, suggesting these rays have, in particular, have undergone little evolutionary mutation in the past millennium. Uh, ghost rays, jelly rays, and crimson rays, and rabbit rays, I haven't seen, seen a crimson ray, likely all share a common evolutionary ancestor. The alpha ray would have evolved deep in the ocean trenches, growing quickly, quickly growing in line with available food source supplies. It would have most resembled the ghost ray in size and appearance, with translucent skin for camouflage and forward-mounted eyes for hunting. Oh, you're, you're a predator. A fast and fearsome stalker of small creatures in the dark. While rays have stayed within the limits of the cave systems where they first evolved, other relatively more ad recently adaptations to the newer environments likely results of overpopulation, like ray rabbit rays, because they're in the shallow areas. Um, all the rays on 4546B have given up predation in favor of herbiv herbivorous scavenging and use poisonous flesh to protect themselves. Yeah, they're all inedible. Okay, uh, can I scan your head? Can I steal your warping technology? I mean, if I can teleport short distances, uh, that would be fantastic. Okay, let me get in here, and let me start reading about my infection, because I feel like that is rather key. Uh, this large egg is held in a hermetically, hermetically sealed... What is hermetically? Hermetically. That word isn't familiar. Though I think I've heard it before. I don't know where. Uh, environment. It has been chemically sterilized without the means at the uh, facility to house a fully grown sea dragon specimen. It is possible the aliens sought to study the, instead the egg laying and incubation process. To what end is uh, unclear. You guys were studying egg laying of different species, right? The, how different species uh, pass on genetic information. In fact, let me read about that. I think I have that somewhere. Um, alien eggs. What was it? Alien flora research? No, not this one. Where is it? <laughs> um, not you. Not you either. Research equipment. Yeah, species uh, specimen gene manipulation, right? Wait, where did I read about you? I remember you reading... Okay, fauna reproductive data. Okay, you seem to be interested on how fauna reproduce on this planet. So are you saying that the reproduction process either has something to do with the bacterium spreading? Oh my god, I'm actually probably going to drown in here. Uh, or, sorry, dehydrate to death. Um, so, okay, so the reproductive data or how they reproduce might have something to do with how this thing spreads. Okay, Aura Contagion Profile. This terminal contains extensive data regarding the bacterium contagion identified as Cara first encountered during routine network expansion on outer worlds. Pandemic development network error resulted in a routine quarantine procedure failure. Contagion was uploaded to and spread quickly through the core worlds. Confirmed deaths 143 billion individuals. I see why you're so hellbent on containing things on this planet then. Wait, Contagion was uploaded to... Is this an artificial virus then? Did someone like biofacially art engineer this then? Like did someone contagion was uploaded to and spread quickly through the core worlds? So did someone like take a file and then maliciously recreate it in order to cause havoc like a space terrorist? Bacterial mechanisms attaches to heavy living cells and mutates the basic genetic structure. Um gradual immune system failure. Green skin lesions and flu-like symptoms. Okay, so we're at stage two. Uh, unpredictable alterations to biological structure. Uh, complete shutdown of executive function. Okay, so I have uh, one more stage until I will croak it, essentially. Uh, emergency steps taken. Core worlds quarantined. Bacterial samples distributed to isolated disease research facilities for vaccine development. Treatment procedure unknown. That isn't too good. Okay, um, hmm, right, okay, so, 
Let me think. Advanced theories. So if it spreads, okay. And then what the hell do enzyme peepers? It does say it's a bacterial infection. However, the infection is currently dormant. It contains an unknown enzyme. So maybe you guys did figure out how to contain it, or at least inhibit the results of the bacterium. Also, I think I need to go back and grab a tablet. Um. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't believe I didn't think to grab my alien stuff. <laughs> oh my god, I'm going to an alien research facility. Of course I need to bring some alien equipment, right? Well, uh, why didn't I think of it? <laughs> um, well, let me think. Wait, I can make a tablet, right? I, I seen that. I seen the blueprint for it. Um, would it be easier for me to make a base here? Inside of here with like titanium. No, there's no way. It would take way longer. Um, let's see. I do know how to make it, right? Yeah. Ion cube and two diamonds. Uh, unfortunately, I would have to make a fabricator, so I need an energy source, a base, a door. Yeah, there's too many factors at play here to make that thing. Okay. You know what? I'm not going to leave this as a cliffhanger. I'm not that mean. <laughs> I am a fulfilling person. I refuse to be you know, average cliffhanger uh, guy. Okay, I'm gonna go back all the way. I I've already been recording for quite a while, but you know, I'm curious to see this myself. Um, okay. Well. Oh, no, there is more stuff. Okay, let's see. If there's not, if I don't find a purple tablet around the area or just anywhere here, um, I will return all the way to base and then I shall return and you know, a montage. Uh, hopefully I don't get attacked by that thing on my way out. Or my way in, I suppose. Uh, that would be rather devastating for me. Um, okay. Well, be right back then. Am I going the right way? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, this place is connected. I see! This is where I chickened out previously. Wait, is there... I assume there's a path on the other side, right? And that's where I originally came in from? Um... Okay, if you guys are seeing this, I really hope that thing leaves me to fuck alone. Yeah, I think this is the hole we saw. Okay, there's a... I think there's an exit on this side. Okay. Um... Hi, welcome back everyone. Uh, if you recognize this place, it's because it's the starlit cove that I actually wandered into. It turns out it's the other side of, you know, the entrance of that place. Uh, there, I, I went the wrong way. Uh, it led to here. I don't actually see the big guy. Of oh, actually, I think he's a bit further down. Um, I made a beacon. I put it at the entrance because I want. I also have a spare one. Um, anyway. I kind of got lost in the way here. I saw a... I, I just learned his name a bit ago. A Reaper. A Reaper. Uh, he seemed to be rather keen on swimming around me, making me nervous for a while. But unfortunately, or fortunately, he actually didn't do anything. Um. Anyhow. Anyway, now we're just trying to get back into the facility uh, without being spotted. He didn't spot me on my way out. I feel like these things, these like large... Um... Wait, what? Or did I... Or is he further down? Yeah, he's further down. He's somewhere over there. Um, these large, whatever these things are, the hammerhead shark looking things, they're rather unobservant in comparison to, uh... I don't know. Just the smaller predators and prey. Um... Though I may eat my words. Do I have... Okay, let me get out before I need to do this. Um... I'm gonna put some of these on me. I did grab three sets of alien things. If I need more than that, I I guess I'll return, but I'm gonna be very sad about it. Um. Okay, he's really far. Just stay on the other side of the cave. That is all I ask you. Don't see me. 
you see me. You see me. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. No, 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 no. Please? Remember that hole? Okay, thank God. Okay, it's on the other side of this hole. Just please look away from me. Um, yeah, yeah, keep facing the wall. Keep staring at the ghosts in the corner. Whatever. Uh, just fuck off. Leave me alone. I want to go in this hole too. Um, I know I could probably actually do it. It's not, I don't know how deep it is, but... I don't think now's the time to discuss my plans for the future and my... Okay, you are... Really nerve-wracking me. I just came all this way. All I ask is you let me go to the alien facility, open that door, figure out how to cure my thing, uh, and then I guess I can leave, probably. Or maybe not. I feel like there, there's no way it's gonna be this easy, right? There, we're at one out of three alien facilities. Okay. Okay, there we go. I'm feeling I'm feeling a bit more reassured in my non-timely demise now. Um, thankfully, I'll probably just leave. Ooh, silver! I'll take that. Uh, I did empty my supplies, and I did actually uh, resupply myself, you know, with food and water because I didn't want to get here and immediately drown. Or God, why do I keep mistaking drown with you know die of dehydration? Uh, Okay, you know, honestly, whatever. I'm not here for resources, and I don't want to know, find out if this drill actually creates noise. Um, oh, that I did find out if you time your spaces, if your time your propulsions well enough, while you can't fly, you can hover for quite a while. It is, I, I did like, I jumped off a high point across the map, and then I floated all the way here, essentially. It was incredible. It felt good. Um... The door was there, I should actually look her other entrances as well, because there might be multiple. Warper, I now know you're a semi-grafted biomechanical robot thing. Uh, okay. Let's see. Let me out. Please tell me. This is all I need. Oh, I should have made an orange one too, now I think about it, right? I had the plans for that. Okay, if I need an orange one, it's just okay. Wow. You know what? I probably should look beyond the force field a bit. Um, It's literally just a tiny bit of thing. I mean, whatever. Worth it. I like knowledge. <laughs> okay, let me read this. Um, Where are you? Specimen research data. A catalog of information on the organisms previously contained within the alien facility. A number of entities, entries, have been translated. Small herbivore gamma. This entry seems to reference the common peeper, shows no immunity to infection, death commonly occurs within four days, shows symptoms remi so symptom remission on exposure to enzyme 42, but symptoms quickly reoccur, shows advanced learning behavior, so shows some capacity to transmit enzymes to other specimens. They're doing something with the peepers, I'm, that's what I'm betting, right? So they've genetically modified these peepers to like seek out and release some enzyme. Um, Leviathan embryos, adult specimen too large to study in containment, egg specimens acquired from nesting site. That's a dumb idea. That's it. So you take, you took the egg and then th that's the egg, right? Where is it? The sea dragon egg. And then the reason why that sea dragon ran into its head into the fucking facility wasn't because it wanted to, it was because you stole its egg from its nest. And they get pissed. I don't. That was kind of stupid of you. I'm not gonna lie. Um, embryos show no sign of immunity. Death commonly occurs within three weeks. Small sample of eggs have been retained for continued high priority species, high priority research on Leviathan hatching mechanism. Large carnivore theta. Off-site lab in established to study remains. Shows some potential for immunity to infection, but physical remains so far prove insufficient for full reconstruction. I think this might be that small lab we saw with the big uh, exoskeleton thing, right? Exoskeleton species that uh, with, that was like a centipede looking thing. Unidentified Leviathan. This Leviathan species have been assigned to the not des designator Sea Emperor. Bone samples from the Emperor, spe uh, emperor specimens indicate some potential for Kara immunity. 
Oh, single specimen capture for study at purpose-built facility. Purpose-built containment facility constructed a volcanic region at 1.4 kilometers deep. Oh, fuck. Okay. Um, while it is unlikely that the emperor specimen is contained within the facility described, it, is, it may be possible to acquire further data there on aliens' attempt to develop a vaccine. Yeah, it's been a thousand years. Okay. So, maybe... They figured something out at 1.4 kilometers deep. Uh, actually, do we have... Let me check something. Codes and clues. Uh, no. Okay, so... Offsite laboratory. I think that's where I've been. Uh, primary containment facility. That might be the thing. Sanctuary A, Sanctuary B. I don't know what those are. And then thermal depth facility. 1,200. Uh, inside extensive no, rat natural rock formation. Okay. Um, we've learned a lot. Okay, so, they're using these aliens. They're here a thousand years ago. Uh, they, they essentially, this bacterium, either, it was genetic, I don't actually know the original, uh, the origin of this bacterium, or contagion, actually, more specifically, uh, it either spread naturally or unnaturally to their worlds. Uh, they said uploaded to, so maybe a malicious spread. Uh, and then they decide to contain the facility uh, on further notice, right? Uh, actually, wait, did it escape afterwards or did it escape beforehand? I need I need to double check that because I don't think. Uh, yeah, and then so they decided to do all this research. Ooh. Oh, bacterial infection report. Have I read this? You have been infected with a previously unknown waterborne bacterium. It is currently multiplying in your bloodstream. Uh, estimated incubation time, two weeks. I hope that's not an actual deadline, but I don't think it is. Uh, your immune system is currently combating the infection at low efficacy. You may be experiencing flu-like symptoms and skin irritation. There will be, they will likely be exacerbated as the bacterium takes hold. Your immediate priority should be abatement and eradication of the infection. Salvage fervor, alien research data on possible vaccine. Investigate the mechanisms of which have enabled the indigenous ecosystem to inhibit the symptoms of the infection. Got it. So, this, oh yeah, let me, let me double check because I want to artifact data, no, scan data. Where is it? Where was that thing where it said one point, like 136 billion things died? Um... 136 billion dead? Hello? Or was it here? No. Sea dragon egg? No. Bacterial infection port? No. Uh, research data? Uh, no. <laughs> research probes? No. Okay, we're getting... Oh, terminal data. It has to be terminal data, right? Damage report? No, this is uh, from the sea dragon ramming its skull into this. Um, Let me see, let me see, let me see. No, that isn't it. That's, uh... Oh, here we go. Confirmed deaths, 143 billion individuals. Okay, so... Routine quarantine procedure failure. Okay, so... They first encountered this bacteria, I'm guessing here, or expansion on Outer Worlds, so it may have spread here. And then... They failed to contain it somehow. It spread to 1. 143 billion people, which is kind of crazy. I'm guessing it killed them. And then I'm guessing more were... Maybe more were infected and they found a way to deal with it. So they came to this planet, or they were on this planet where, as the origin of bacterium. And then they essentially used what I, seems to be some natural enzymes in the like area. in order, And they studied the reproductive data on how things spread in order to somehow inhibit the bacterial growth, or the bacterium, right? Unless they decide, or they could have just completely abandoned it, right? We haven't seen any aliens so far, we've only seen their biomechanical things, right? The warpers? So... Yeah. Okay, so... They essentially tried to contain it, and then they failed because... Maybe it spread after, right? So, essentially they kept it in here. Let's see. So they, okay, maybe we have to try to find their sanctuaries, because we did just read about their sanctuaries, and then, so after they failed to contain the bacterium in this place, because uh, they stole a child's egg, or a, you know, big leviathan's egg, um, 
the planet had to go into quarantine, they immediately killed a bunch of stuff, but one thing escaped, and that one thing may have caused 143 billion deaths. I know I'm all over the place with my theories, I'm just speculating rather rapidly. Anyhow, uh, thank you all so much for joining me. Uh, I had a blast this episode. Uh, I've actually been recording twice as long as I normally do. Hopefully I cut most of that out. <laughs> Anyhow, goodbye, have a lovely day. Uh, see ya. I'm, I'm running out of things to say goodbye with. Bye. <laughs>